Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And last week I did a video on color fill filling clear acrylic. And I mentioned in that video that anybody can do this with any laser. And I got a lot of feedback from that during the week. So yesterday I decided to, people are saying, well, you can't do it with a diode laser. It just can't be done. And that's absolutely not true because all we were cutting was paper. And so I decided that, hey, I'm going to do it on a diode laser. And I actually, I keep saying in the video, four colors, I actually did this in five different colors. These you can buy uh, on Amazon pre-cut. You can see this one's a heart shape. I know it's kind of hard to see the, the shape here in the video, but this one is a heart shape and they have different types of shapes. So uh, you can probably see this better if I show you how it comes. So this is how it comes. And it is, it has the paper on both sides. And if you don't have the paper type, some people already have the pre-cuts and they have the plastic on them. Uh, you can just peel that plastic off and cover it with transfer tape. And the transfer tape looks just like this. And just you just got to make sure you squeegee it out really well so that there's no air bubbles. And all you're cutting through is the paper. So let me take you start to finish right now and show you just how easy this is. You can do it on a diode laser. Let's do it right now. Okay, so I am uh, doing this on the Lasermatic 20. And a couple of things. <laughs> I forgot to focus the laser, number one. So the cut is going to be extremely wide. And I'm going to have to mask off when I paint. So that's number one. And... Uh, Number two, I used a setting from a library for paper instead of running a material test. And, you know, I didn't follow my own advice. Got to run a material test and sacrifice one piece because I cut through both sides of this piece. And not that that's really a problem, but uh, the edges are not going to be nice and clean on this particular piece. So you'll see in a moment that um, how wide, see how wide those edges are. And this is going to be quick. So stand by. This is a fast video today. I put everything into fast forward. <laughs> so here I am peeling off the first name. And um, it sometimes this can be a problem. It's always best to start from the corners. So there you see I masked off the uh, other one. And there we've got the first one done. And like I said, everything here is going to be quick. Um, so there is uh, my wife's name. And I'm just weeding that out and getting it ready to uh, paint. Now, you see, sometimes these things get stuck. They're a pain in the butt. Make sure you get them all out. So uh, here we go. I masked it again just to make sure I don't get any overspray. Uh, it doesn't really matter. At the end, for the last coat, you want to coat everything. But... Um, yeah, for this, I do have to mask it because of, I didn't focus. So there we go. There's the third one, which is the ampersand. And uh, that is the third color. I used, did five colors in this all together. And uh, here is the fourth color, which is 2024. You'll notice that I don't peel out that little dot right there in the middle. So that's going to be the fifth color. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, color number four going on 2024 and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to peel, uh, weed out those little dots and I know it doesn't give a, a great example but this is the fifth color so that's what matters and for some reason these guys didn't want to come off I had to go back in there and pick them up <laughs> so there you go that's the fifth color right there and uh, we are ready to finish the weeding. And this one takes a little bit longer because there's a lot to do here. But um, it, it does go pretty quick. Like I said, start at a corner. And I'm starting on the bottom because that part won't show in case I scratch the acrylic. Um, so it's kind of hard to pick at this, at this paper sometimes. <laughs> And I'm not the best at doing it. You know, I never said I was an expert at 
any of this stuff. This is just my experience. And this is the first try on the diode. Um, I've done I've done engraving on diodes before, but uh, I've never done paint filling before. So um, just kind of bear with me here. But uh, I'm getting down to the last couple. And there you can see the colors are starting to pop. And this is a diode laser. So there we go. It's all done. Five colors. So while I'm at it, um, I wanted to put a couple of other myths to bed. Um, there's my final project right there. You see it came out real nice if I had focused the laser properly. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four colors. Okay, uh, let's put another myth to bed. Is that you can't engrave clear acrylic on a diode laser. This is an old project that I did a very long time ago. Uh, probably two years ago on the on a 10 watt uh, diode laser. So yes, you can engrave clear acrylic if you leave the paper on. And to put one more myth to bed, uh, you can see here, I haven't gotten my new uh, computer for this shop. So I'm using my old laptop. This is a 2008 laptop. And take a look down here. I am running with four gigabytes of RAM. So this computer cannot have any more than four because the RAM is soldered on the board. And I'm running Lightburn version 1.7, uh, 1.701 up there, as you can see. So uh, I can't work on that little tiny screen. So I've got an HDMI plugged in right there and it is on the 50 inch TV. So yeah, <laughs> you know, this is a Lenovo. So uh, it's a Lenovo and it is uh, 1.5 gigahertz. It's a Celeron processor. It's from 2008 and this is doing everything that I need. Everybody thinks you need a powerful computer to run Lightburn. You absolutely don't. So there's a couple of myths put to bed. To, to bed. Number one, you can engrave on clear acrylic with a diode laser. You just buy these pre-cut. And number two, you can color fill uh, the same way that I did in my last video. So uh, I hope that answers a bunch of questions. So real quick, uh, quick self-promotion. A lot of people, they tell me, they make comments, they say, you've helped me so much, I don't know how I can thank you. And I'm just gonna go through the ways that you can thank me in my own self-promotion commercial. So uh, down below in the links, there are links to all of my different websites, engraveandcutfiles.com, my forum, uh, laserengravedhats.com, louisianacustom.com, all of the different ways that I support myself in doing this. You can also uh, just click, click on the thanks button right down there. It says somewhere down over there, over there. <laughs> it says thanks. You can click on that, make a donation. You can, if you like PayPal, you can go to paypal.me slash LA Hobby Guy. Just so many different ways that you can help to support the channel. And I want to thank you in advance for that. So that's the end of my quick commercial. Let's get back to the video. So there you go. I haven't cleaned this up yet. <laughs> I should have probably cleaned this before the video, but there you go. Five colors on clear acrylic with a diode laser. So I had to make this video because, you know, I just got so many people that were just sending me messages, making comments saying that you can't do this on a diode laser. Now, I wish I hadn't screwed up the I wish I hadn't screwed up the power and cut through both sides, but I did. And I wish I didn't uh, forget to focus the laser. So two big mistakes on this and it still came out great. So uh, that's just how easy this is to get done. Oh, look at that. I just realized I can put this on top of the one with the cover and you can see it much better. So there you go. That's the finished product. Before I clean it up, once I clean it up, the edges will look a lot nicer. Uh, so anyway, that's the whole video today. Don't forget folks to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video in your Facebook groups or forums or wherever the case may be. And don't forget, I have tons of information right down below there. Click on dot, dot, dot more. 
There's all sorts of laser related links in there. You can find my mailing address there. You can find links to different types of lasers, the ones that I recommend. And uh, there's all types of material stuff in there too. I'll even have the link to the search on Amazon for these particular uh, products here, as well as the transfer tape, because most of them do come with that plastic um, cover on it. But I was fortunate to find these, and uh, I'm going to try and put a link to those. I, I was fortunate enough to find those about a year and a half ago when I originally ordered them. I ordered like, you know, 20 of them. I have a whole, whole stack of them, and I've made a few since then. And as always, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Down in the bayou, where the gators roam, lived a hobby guy by the name of Rich alone. He had a laser engraver like no one else could boast. Birded patterns on wood from the southern coast. Rich was a Louisiana man with a cane.